part 3 of the video will cover the application of solvent extraction in which we deal with the solvent extraction of metal ions by chelation. Solvent extraction can be widely used for the extraction of metal ions. These metal ions can be extracted through the formation of a chelate molecule with organic chelating agent. These organic chelating agents act as a weak acid and they will, that will ionize in water. So the ionizable proton that are displaced by the metal ion, it will create a charge on the chelating group that is balanced by the metal ion. So here the example is given that is diphenyl dithiocarbazone that is also known as dithiazone. It will form a chelate with the lead ion so it has green color and it has ionizable proton also. When these ionizable proton are replaced by the metal ion so the negative charge that is produced on the chelate it is balanced by the lead ion for the chelate formation. This, this will produce a neutral chelate that can be easily extracted in the organic phase. We will extract the metal ion using some chelating agent that are dissolved in organic phase. So the extraction process involves the four equilibrium steps that are given below. In first step that chelating agent that is dissolved in organic phase represented by HR. It will distribute itself between organic and aqueous phase and there will be produced equilibrium between organic and aqueous phases. So HR in aqueous phase it will distribute itself between organic and aqueous phase and the equilibrium will be created. So we will put the D, D distribution ratio that is for HR reagent that is equal to reagent in organic phase divided by region in aqueous phase. After shift, shifting it to the aqueous phase, now in second step, the reagent in aqueous phase, it will ionized. So it will ionize and it will produce H plus and R minus. So it is ionizing. We will put the ionization constant for acid that is equal to H plus in aqueous region ionized in aqueous divided by region unionized in aqueous phase. Third step. The metal ion chelates with the reagent anion to form uncharged molecule in aqueous phase. Now when it will uh, produce R minus, now this R minus will combine with the metal ion and it will produce a complex. Now this complex is present in aqueous phase. Here the complex formation takes place. So we will put the formation constant of a complex that is equal to Kf is equal to reagent un ionize sorry chelate unionized in aqueous phase divided by metal ion in aqueous phase region ionized in aqueous phase the final step will be the chelate distribution between organic and aqueous phases so the chelate that is produced in aqueous phase it will move towards the organic phase it will distribute itself between these two phases and the equilibrium will be established so we will put the distribution ratio of chelate that is equal to chelate in organic phase divided by chelate in aqueous phase. We will make some assumptions that the chelated portion of the metal distribute largely into the organic phase. We know that the chelate has more solubility in organic phase than aqueous phase. So it will move towards the organic phase in large amount as compared to that is present in aqueous phase. So the chelated portion will be present in organic phase more as compared to aqueous phase. Total metal ion does not hydrolyze in aqueous phase. Metal ion will be present as metal ion. It will not undergo any interaction with water, any interaction with aqueous phase that is a hydrolysis of metal ion. So it will not hydrolyze in the aqueous phase. And the chelate is essentially undissociated in the non-polar organic solvent. So chelate will be present as neutral form in the non-polar organic solvent. The distribution ratio is evaluated by considering the chelate MRN in the organic phase and metal ion in the aqueous phase. So we have distribution ratio formula that is equal to the concentration of a species in organic phase 
divided by concentration of a species in aqueous phase we have two major species that will undergo and not any association dissociation or hydrolysis and that is the metal ion that is present in aqueous phase and the chelate that is present in the organic phase so we will consider these both metal ion and chelate so the d will be written as mrn in organic phase divided by m n in aqueous phase now the combining the previous equation into this equation we will get fusion ratio that is equal to chelate in organic phase divided by metal in aqueous phase now putting the value of chelate in organic phase using the formula that is distribution ratio of chelate that is equal to chelate in organic phase divided by chelate in aqueous phase now arranging this formula and getting the value of chelate in organic phase that is equal to distribution ratio multiplied by chelate in aqueous phase so putting its value that is d multiplied by chelate divided by m plus now putting the value of chelate in aqueous phase using the formula of formation constant of chelate that is equal to chelate in aqueous phase divided by m plus metal ion and reagent ionized with power n in aqueous phase now we will get the value of mrn that is chelate in aqueous phase by arranging this formula kf multiplied by m plus multiplied by r minus so putting its value that is distribution ratio of chelate formation constant of chelate metal ion concentration in aqueous phase reagent ionized with power n in aqueous phase divided by metal ion in aqueous phase now the metal ion and metal ion will cancel out we will get the distribution ratio of chelate formation constant of chelate and reagent ionized with power n in aqueous phase now putting the value of r minus using the formula of ionization constant that is equal to h plus in aqueous phase r minus in aqueous phase divided by reagent unionized in aqueous phase now arranging this value and getting the value of r minus that is equal to ka multiplied by hr divided by h plus so here it is n so we will put n over all these terms so distribution ratio of chelate formation constant of chelate ionization with power n reagent unionized with power n in aqueous phase divided by h plus in aqueous phase now we know that the uh, concentration of organic phase divided by the concentration of reagent in aqueous phase that will produce a distribution ratio here the reagent is present in aqueous phase in the numerator and also the aqueous phase is present in denominator so we will convert this aqueous phase into the organic phase using the formula that is distribution ratio of reagent that is equal to reagent in organic phase divided by reagent in aqueous phase so the reagent in aqueous phase that will be equal to hr in organic phase divided by dhr so we will put its value in this equation we will get the distribution ratio of chelate formation constant of chelate multiplied by ka multiplied by reagent concentration in organic phase divided by reagent distribution ratio of reagent and h plus in aqueous phase now all these three four terms are constant so separate these four terms and hr in organic phase divided by h plus in aqueous phase separate it from the other uh, equation so we will uh, we will sum up all these constant into one constant that is k and hr in organic phase divided by hr in aqueous phase so we will get the distribution ratio formula that is equal to k hr in organic phase divided by h plus in uh, aqueous phase now from this formula we know that the extraction efficiency can be affected only by changing the reagent concentration that is present in organic phase and changing the ph of the aqueous phase 